In the previous video, we had a look at using N8N for free. This also involved using free models and a free database for storing our conversation history and our knowledge base. We used Docker Desktop to create an N8N instance as well as a Postgres instance for the database. But in order to use free open source models, we opted to use Olama, which is a fantastic tool for downloading and running open source models on your own machine. But some of you reached out to me asking why I didn't use the Docker model runner instead of Olama. So I wanted to create this quick video showing you how to use the Docker model runner in N8N. The Docker model runner is similar to Olama in that it allows you to download models and run them on your own machine. It also uses native GPU acceleration for quick inference, and it makes it very easy for external apps to connect to the models. And since we're already running N8N and Postgres in Docker, it makes it so much more convenient to also download and use our models in Docker Desktop as well. So if you haven't already, go ahead and download and install Docker Desktop. Then simply go to the Models menu, and initially you won't see any models on the screen. To download a model, click on Docker Hub, and from here you can see all the available models. So I've gone ahead and downloaded Llama 3.2, Dynamic Embed Text Model, and GPT OSS. We can access and use these models in many different ways. We can access them directly within Docker Desktop by clicking on the play button, and now we can send a message like, why is the sky blue? And we can see the response streaming in. Of course, we can also access these models in the command prompt or terminal. So we can simply say docker model list, and this will show all the available models. Or we can say docker model run, and provide the model name, and we can chat to the model within the terminal, and we get our response back. But of course, we can access these models from external applications as well. Here we can see the Docker Model Runner provides an easy to use REST API for interacting with large language models. This API is designed to be compatible with the OpenAI API specification. This will become important when we integrate N8N with the Model Docker Runner. What this means is we can call the API directly, like with this example in Postman, where we provide this URL localized on port 12434 slash engines slash llama.cpp slash v1 slash chat slash completions. And in fact, we just have to ensure this is enabled. So within Docker Desktop, go to settings, click on AI, then enable Docker Model Runner and enable host site TCP support and then provide the port number. This is where I got this port from. Then within the body, we can pass in the model name along with the array of messages. And when we run this, we get the response from the model. Cool, but how do we use this in N8N? Well, we will not be calling this endpoint directly, and instead we'll use the OpenAI chat node. Within N8N, I'm just going to add an on chat message trigger. Then let's add our AI agent. And for the chat model, we'll add the OpenAI chat model node. Under credentials, click on create new credential. And for the API key, you can enter anything. We're actually not using an API key. But what we need to do is change the base URL from OpenAI to our Docker model runner endpoint instead. Now this URL will actually depend on where your N8N instance is being run. If you're running N8N from outside of Docker, for example, if you're using npx n8n start, you will use the same endpoint we used in Postman. So it will be localhost, followed by the port number, followed by engines, slash llama.cpp, slash v1. But if you are running n8n within Docker, like how I'm doing, then the base URL will be slightly different. Replace localhost and the port number with model-runner.docker dot internal. Then we can also rename this to Docker Model Runner. Let's save this. And as you can see, the connection was successful. Now when we click on this model dropdown, we will see the models that we downloaded in Docker Desktop. So I'll select GPT OSS and back to the canvas. Let's test this by saying, hey. And of course we get our response back. 
Now, what about embedding models for working with our knowledge base? We already have a Postgres database set up from the previous video, and this database already contains documents. Again, if you want to see how to set all of this up, then check out my other video over here. Under Tools, let's search for Postgres PG Vector Store. Then for the description, let's say, use this tool for retrieving information related to invoices. Cool. Now for the embedding model, we can download the Gnomic Embed text model using Docker Desktop. Then under Embeddings, let's select Embeddings OpenAI, and let's select our embedding model, and that should be it. Let's open the chat again, and let's say, what was my anthropic invoice total? And we can see the model reached out to the vector database, this was all successful, and we get the correct answer back. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the description of this video. Then check out my other videos by clicking on the card on the screen. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more N8N content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.